I just finished up shooting a little bit of stuff with Jeff right now. We're finishing up a science applied video here at Body and Soul right now. It's like 11, 11.30, something like that. Jeff's over there picking out the thumbnails for this video right now. I was thinking after this, I was gonna go through a little ab workout and then do some cardio. Honestly, at this point in the night, I think I'm just gonna go home and get some sleep. Wake up in the morning, probably come back here tomorrow, because this is like the place to be if I wanna film. So probably come back here tomorrow, take you guys through that. I got one more cardio session for the week, 40 minute list session, end off the week with that. I'll probably make this like a two day vlog, because I wanna throw like a workout in there, probably work out with like Eddie or something like that. So do that within like the next two days, probably put that in this vlog also. So. Choosing out some of the thumbnails right now, and we're just kind of looking at the quality difference between 6500 and like the a7r3 and it's rough, bro. It's, it's it's not too rough but it's definitely a noticeable difference oh, big time. yeah and obviously like the bokeh huge part and how it's different just the crispness like you can see like the edges aren't whoa <laughs> yeah the edges aren't quite as crisp oh no you know? but the like it's not as this is why bro yeah <laughs> i don't know i haven't had this talk on the channel before but a lot of people ask me like what camera should they get to start out I usually would recommend the 6500 because I look at it as more of a beginner to intermediate camera. But then when you start talking about like super professional things like blowing things up and just getting all the detail out of a camera, I would definitely say don't skip out, get a full frame camera, which the A7R 3 is. So, I mean, there's a couple thousand dollar difference there, but you're definitely gonna notice the quality difference when doing like in detail stuff and just overall photography. So I can't wait to get that camera back. I should get it back next Wednesday. So we'll probably shoot with that a little more. Well, obviously we'll be shooting with that from then on. And I'm just so excited to get that camera back. Also the battery on there. Like I can shoot probably like two to three videos on there without charging that camera. Whereas like with the 6500, I probably go to two to three batteries in a day because of how short the battery life is. But it'll be back soon. I'm hyped to get that camera back. So. <laughs> All right, what's going on family? Start of the video. Why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing? See, I can't do anything serious over here. I'm just gonna carry this video over into the next day. I'm currently working on the video that I was filming last night when you guys were in the gym with me. I planned out my entire schedule for today, just like on my Google Calendar. I find like when I do that, I feel like I'm really getting everything done. Instead of doing like an infinite to-do list, which most people will do, I feel like if I have it planned out in time blocks, I'll know to just get it done in that amount of time. Finish that up. I am here with my lady. She is working on some school stuff. She has finals all throughout the next two weeks. I weighed in this morning at about 2.03, which is, you know, it's a bad way in. I can't lie. I can't lie. It's a bad way in. I don't know why I weighed in at that. I brought my scale to her house because, you know, I need my scale. I need to know exactly what's going on. But I wish I would have left the scale at home. Um, I think it's just one of those days where the weight is just fluctuating and that's going to happen. I'm not worried because when I woke up this morning, I was posing in the mirror. I felt tighter than usual. So I don't know how I'm three pounds up. At the end of the day, it matters what your body looks like. That's what matters on stage. The judges aren't going to be judging the scale. So like if I'm feeling tighter, you know, Patty will know what to do with all my macros and everything going forward. And Honestly, I'm feeling good about that, so. But I do wish I would've left the scale at home because now it's kind of bothering me a little bit. So unfortunately, this morning, my headphones snapped. Kind of just me being really careless with them. Kind of like going in like the wrong direction. I don't know if you can see that, but I am super, super upset about this. Pretty much use these headphones for everything as far as like working out, listening to music, like working, actually editing, just canceling everything out. Part of my everyday routine. And they're not broken to the point where I can't use them, but like having this like one ear like flopping off in my head is like really really annoying so i came to the store hoping they would just exchange them out no problem but they said i have to send them in and then they'll send me a gift card and i'm just like bruh just just take the headphones back and give me the new ones man i gotta go through all this effort so anyway i'm gonna send these in i'm still gonna use them today get through the day send them in tomorrow hopefully they send me the gift card as soon as possible or i'll be rocking those old ass Apple headphones that you get in the box, but about to head in right now, get some cardio in, and then I'm gonna head home and get a meal in. I've had only like 500 or 600 calories today, so I know when I get home, I'm about to make a big meal. I'm super excited about that, so I'll show you guys what I make. Yeah, yeah, that's just the way I move. Maybe I just need a girl that's crazy too. So I must admit, I just had one of the hardest cardio sessions of this prep. Man, that 40 minutes felt like 
40 hours, bro. I cannot lie. I was watching Breaking Bad throughout, so luckily I was kind of zoned into the episode, but I swear every time I looked up, only like two minutes had passed, and I was just like, I am physically dying. Like, I'm sweating bullets, feeling like I'm about to fall off of that Stairmaster, but we are finished. We are done. Honestly, no cap. Grenade, carb killer, high protein bar, white chocolate salted peanut. I'm pretty sure this is actually one of the newer flavors that they have. Honestly, tastes better than a regular Snickers bar. So I would say it's more of like a candy bar with high protein than like an actual protein bar, but save your fats, try one of these. I promise you it's worth it. But right now I'm actually in the kitchen cooking up a little post-workout meal. Ran to the store, grabbed some ingredients to make some crazy egg whites. I got a little bit of turkey bacon over here. I'm gonna fry up some peppers, some mushrooms, and then here I got some sweet white onions. Fry all that up, throw a bunch of egg whites in the pan, maybe one whole egg. And then I'm gonna check out where my carbs are and probably throw in like some toast or something like that. But yo, I'm super excited. I'm about to load up on the veggies and these egg whites and just kind of get like a high volume egg white meal in. And then um, I still have quite a bit of work to do throughout the day today. So make this meal, get back to work and just get back to the grind. Really quickly before I end this video, I wanna show you guys a new sample that I am working on for kosher apparel. Not sure if I'm gonna go with this navy blue or like a smoke gray like charcoal put it up on Instagram story to see which one is you guys like better and we'll go with that one but this one is going to be more of a relaxed fit I'm thinking of putting a little cut down here not as dramatic as the last launch that we did but I am going to add something down there and um, switch up a couple little things but overall I am liking the shirt so far I'm already rocking it and I'm thinking it's going to take another three to four weeks of just back and stuff before I get this all completed and ready for the next launch so it's not ready yet, it's not perfect yet, but I will be trying to get this out like maybe early to mid June, have some summer t-shirts for you guys. And I appreciate everybody who has copped the V2 hat. If you have not yet, now is the perfect time to cop one because all colors are on sale for 25% off. That is gonna be a bigger sale than the YouTube fam discount code. You don't need a code, they're all on sale without a code. So head to kosherapl.com, pick up a hat if you haven't, and if you have, Yo, I appreciate you. The next video that comes out on the channel is actually gonna be the new series video. So the series is gonna be called Dialed In. I'm still working on the intro and the outro. So that'll take me like another week and a half and then that video and that series will be started. Appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel. Leave this video a like before you leave. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.